Raskin has quoted it. I'll believe it when I see it. Um, you mentioned Steve Bannon. What has happened to Steve Bannon in the two weeks since the House voted to hold him in contempt? Has he faced any consequences? Do we have a timeline on when the DOJ, when Merrick Garland's going to make a decision? The biggest change that's happened is Biden's nominee to head the D.C. U.S. Attorney's Office has been sworn in. So now that office, which makes the decision as to whether or not to prosecute Steve Bannon, is headed by someone who's a political appointee who's been confirmed by the Senate. It's possible that attorneys in that office were waiting to have Senate-confirmed leadership before moving forward on this issue regarding whether or not to prosecute Bannon. Of course, the most senior leaders in the department are also going to weigh in on this decision. But one thing that I think, which people may not be happy to hear, is that I've talked to just about every smart lawyer I know about whether or not they think DOJ will bring charges against Bannon for contempt. Most, but not all, have said that they think DOJ will. I've talked to a number of people who are smart, serious, normal lawyers who know this stuff inside out, who've said, it's possible that the Justice Department will decide it's too politicized, it's too uncomfortable, and they just don't want to bring the case against Bannon. So it's not a foregone conclusion that Bannon faces charges from DOJ. I think it's more likely than not, but I wouldn't bet the farm. No, me either. Betsy Woodruff Swan, great reporting as ever. Thank you for your time tonight. Thank you. Coming up, everything you need to know about the new COVID treatment that reportedly reduces the risk of hospitalization and death by, or death by 89%. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with the details. Are you okay? 